Hi, it's Bill here. I'm back with another video on the brushless motor. This is an update video to the video I made a little while back. It's been a little longer than I anticipated for making uh, an update video. Obviously, there's been a lot going on the last uh, few weeks with pandemics and wildfire smoke in, in our region here in uh, Victoria, BC as well. So things were got a bit delayed, but uh, here it is. I'm gonna do you guys a little walkthrough, um, show you how the motor is mounted to the boat, and um, we'll just do some speed runs today, see how fast we can get going, um, log some data, and yeah, show you guys how it works. All right, here's the motor and battery all set up on a Hobie Tandem Island. This is a sailing kayak. And the way it's mounted is with a wooden, a wooden bracket here that goes into these two holes in the hull, the two hardwood dowels, and then a, a two by four. That's basically it, quickly thrown together just to mount this thing on here. The motor itself is installed and ready to go. Uh, it's sitting at about half of the leg height. This clamp here is adjustable, so you can actually lift and lower the whole leg in and out depending on what kind of boat I'm gonna mount this motor on. Um, but that's all ready to go. Of course, the cable runs up, sits in the battery, which is just sitting in the passenger area here. Uh, that's all sealed, and yeah, coming back further, we've got a Raymarine Dragonfly um, sounder plotter. This will like a heads up to display our speed. And this is again, just kind of temporarily installed. Got a few spare props. I'm not gonna really experiment too much with those today. That'll be another video on prop sizing, pitch, how it affects your current consumption, um, all that kind of stuff. But for that, I need to replace this speed control. I need a more powerful one. Um, just an updated one actually, a VESC V6, um, which will be a little bit of a power upgrade, but also uh, mainly just um, kind of better hardware uh, and better Bluetooth connectivity so I can actually monitor log all the data while I'm boating along and I won't need to bring my laptop. So that's the setup for today. We're at Elk Lake, BC here, beautiful day, and we'll see how it goes. some testing here. My throttle potentiometer here. Start turning her up. There we go. So it should be about 30% throttle. We'll let the boat speed come up a little bit. One knot of boat speed now. That's probably about 50% throttle now. Pretty quiet. Field oriented control mode is nice and quiet. We're at about two knots. We're about 2.2 knots. Probably 50% throttle. Seventy percent throttle. Three knots now. Three point five knots. Not too bad. Looks like it's how much current it's taking, but four knots. There we go. That's my throttle. Oh, that's it. Oh boy. I think I have to drop the leg a little bit. Five knots. Five and a half knots. All right. There we go. quick. All right, I'm going to drop this leg down a little bit. Um, see if we can fix that cavitation issue there. Stand by. All right, I've lifted, or rather I've lowered the leg probably about three or four inches. Uh, we'll see if it cavitates as badly. Looks like uh, just because the, the leg isn't really foil shaped at all. It's just a one and one eighth round tube. So it's not exactly Slicing through the water very efficiently, it's catching a lot of air and behind it and sending it down in the motor. So we'll ramp up here, see what we get now. 1.5 knots, 2 knots. Five and a half knots. 
up here for the thrust test we got a rope tied to a tree and then we got a little weight scale here it's going to show us how much thrust we're outputting in our current propeller ready for thrust tests got a scale in there it's now in the water oh, uh -oh. pounds 45 pounds all right here we go that's full throttle 20 kilos Motors out of the water. I'd say it worked pretty good. Just sailing along now. There's enough breeze that we're actually doing four and a half knots, almost, almost doing five knots, just just with the sail, which is our top speed with the motor. So I don't know if that means that the motor is not very good or this boat sails really well. I'm not really sure, but we're doing five knots now. It's basically the same speed we had with the motor, just just sailing along. So. Beautiful day. I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks. See you later.